Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? This is John. Welcome back to the Trader for Live recording for the market ending at 621. Uh, this is an early recording because uh, tomorrow I'll be busy, so I prefer to do it right now. Uh, there's a couple um, stuff that I'm going to talk about for uh, next week, so let's dig into it. All right, so let me move this mouse if I can. Um, all right, so market basically, um, if you watch the video last week, uh, we talk about getting just uh, chill out, uh, and then we do have the FOMC on this um, Wednesday and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the Wednesday they announce it, the market basically uh, pop, uh, sell off, and then it bounce back again. The next day basically just keep going up, grinding higher uh, future basically uh, get up pretty big on that one so um fomc come uh, came with the statement they're gonna try also i'm sorry not that they're not gonna try it but they will um do the interest rate uh interest or rate cut basically in 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 the future so if the market basically starts selling off they're gonna support the market basically to flood the um, the economy with the cheaper rate so um, that will be good for the market as well because there's going to be a lot of business able to borrow money with a cheaper rate and um, yeah it'll be it'll be a, a good thing that's what the market love it we basically uh, close high and then on Friday we also open up high but we start selling off and it, it is creating a doji um it, it looks like a hang well it looks like a, a doji or what do you call that it is a doji i don't have any other word but a doji let's call it doji so uh that's for spy um are we in the overbought state um i would say yes um but keep in mind we did uh making a new high and we close still the high uh, on the close here, basically still at the bar on the high. So it is still bullish, regardless if it's an overbought, but the market is bullish, we're still grinding higher. So um, now my William R indicator, it's saying that it is super overbought in short term, okay? Now there is a big sell-off um, with volume on Friday so um, this is gonna be the million a million dollar question where are we going from here are we gonna go down back to the to the value um, and reaching out that that high that we that it become a support uh, now go back to the value and maybe going back to the 26 oh I'm sorry this is the Indu I don't want to go to Indu I want to do uh, SPY first this one all right so if it breached down so we probably will test that 290 again 290 was the resistance that we had for a couple five days six days sideways and then we gap up so i think that will be the target for the downside for 290 um and then uh what else qqq um let's take a look at the weekly Let's see if weekly is still overbought or not. Weekly, um, it looks like it is overbought as well. And we do um, just slightly above the, um, the previous high, 52 weeks high. So um, it is still bullish. Um, I I mean, like I said, if it's there's going to be a pullback, then 290 is the, it's, it's the target for the support. And then it's probably gonna grind higher again. Uh, keep in mind, there's gonna be a G20 meeting in June 29, which is in Saturday, uh, Saturday. Oh, so it's gonna be next week. So you need to be trade carefully because um, we do not want um, to be in the cut of the weekend news. Um, so that's something that you have to consider it. Um, if you have a position, you might want to take a profit basically by 
June 28, I guess, and then see where the market will go next time. Um, and the other, the other thing I want to talk about NASDAQ. NASDAQ is not making a new high. Uh, it is below the 52 weeks high, uh, but it does have room to go up. So this is where I'm telling you guys it's kind of tricky. Um, I don't think there's going to be any pullback. If it does, then there's 290. Uh, and but the funny thing, IWM on Friday, basically, it's making uh, high and low. So it's kind of market want to pull back, but you know, next week we can start riding higher as well. Or maybe just there's a gap down uh, with the bad news. Who knows, right? So, um, but we do have a good volume on Friday, basically, with that sell off. So IWM is still weak, but it is above 50 and 200. Okay. Uh, SMH, let's take a look on that. Um, it is still above 50, but it, I'm sorry, above below 50, above 200. So we are still in the um, in the sideway uh, uh, mode. IBB um, above 50 and 200, which is I think it's a bullish state from here. Uh, I really like this, but it's temporary. Short term is uh, overbought. We just have to see um, where the market going next week. Uh, just pay attention. Um, there might be a pullback, um, but there also uh, we just keep grinding higher. So who knows? All right. The next thing is Dow. Dow is basically still. I'm saying it's overbought. Um, you know, MACD is basically still grinding higher. So I don't think any pullback yet but if it does then right there the 262 area that's something that you want to take a look and then after that buy along again um for uh you know at least close to uh 270 okay now um that's for the major uh indices i want to talk about oil USO, USO basically is keep grinding higher. I did mention on my previous weekly call, uh, I really like this and then it gap up and then it, it go up again. So um, as I mentioned SLB, I really like SLB, but it's, I don't know, for me it's not good to chase. So um, the target is gonna be around that 39.25. Um, so it was 36, 37 area that was the good timing to buy. Um, the other thing at LR, I mean, I did mention this little group. Um, it's also I don't want to chase because it's already popped higher. Um, we just have to see where it's going. Um, I do have a couple stock um, EA. EA basically, uh, it's in the it's in the bull bull flag here. To be honest with you, there's a um, go up here and then side wave. For, I don't know, it's February. Gosh, four months, four months sideways. It's crazy. Um, it does making a higher low, but it never breaks the 90. Um, 91 is always like tested and then go up. So, low high on this. Um, there's a volume uh, increase as well on Friday, and then we did test this 200 MA. Uh, I think there's going to be a pop on this. My first target is 98. That will be my first signal to sell it. Um, and then the next target would be around 102. Um, so that will be the target. Um, ATDI, also the same position. I, I do have this. We do close above 50. Um, so I, I do like this. I think it still will continue 47 and then 49 to 50. That will be the, um, the area. Um, let's see what it's been a long day here. Um, I do have BLX. Um, let, let's go over to the cost uh, here because I do want to dig in deeper on this. Um, because we already covered a lot of stuff basically on um, EA, FTX, ATDI. So I want to talk about the e, the BLX, BLX uh, bankroll. I, I don't know um, what company they do here. This is basically from the group US Arm Warehouse. Um, uh, anyway, I don't care what they do, but um, but let's take a look at the chart. I, I, I'm a chart guy, so I don't trade the news. Um, overall, it's grinding higher. Uh, it, it, it did fill the gap. 
It's already filled the gap. We did try to breach that number uh, 20, 2091, uh, 2188, um, and then we fail, and then we try to high again. It looks like a top handle, and then it fail again. Uh, now it's basically just sideways. Um, overall, it's still grinding higher. Let's go take a look at the weekly. Um, look at that. Um, yeah, even like if we look at this, um, this pull, this technical. Oh my God! Yeah, this is this is where the buy right here. When you break out this, whoo, it just basically keep grinding higher. Um, I do expect um, if there's a pullback, I do expect this is gonna be a support. Um, at to get your pen and paper ready, right there. 1850. 1850 is the, the, the location that you want to see. Um, if we're going to go higher, which is we are just sideways, probably we'll test this level again 2188, the last breakout. Uh, 2188 yep and then after that if it does break then it will try this and then it will go to let's pull this guy uh, see what what the target is ah okay uh we are at the 32 um the next one is 2278 you can see right there it has the 50 percent and it'll pull back um i think it's gonna pass again and then it's gonna try again i i believe maybe buy either October or August, you probably will see this all going up to this, or it will go down. I mean, you, you never know. It, it follow the whole market. So, um, yeah, we, you just have to pay attention. If it go down, you don't want to be below um, 1850. Uh, if it goes up, probably will go to 2450. Okay. Um, Keep in mind, um, I will not enter this position because it's just in the middle state. I, I don't know where is it going from here. So um, if you already bought from low, just keep it grinding higher. So um, especially if you want to keep it long term. Now, the next one I want to talk is uh, NLW. I, I know this one or NWL, sorry. NWL. This is a uh, new brands. Um, take a look daily first. Daily has been making a very good. Um, oops, wrong one. Take a look here. Um, it's selling. I don't know what's the maybe the earning is bad here. That's why it starts selling off. A good earning pop, and then dividend go down just sideways. Um, this is really good. It looks like it's making, um, if you see this, it, it's, it is making like uh, head and shoulder. So if it does, uh, this one is 13 to 15. Let's say $2, right? $2, so you have to target to 17 here if it does go up. Um, that will be my maximum target. Uh, maybe 17 to 18 right there. Keep in mind, this is a short term target right here. Uh, 17, 18, and you can see there's a resistance right here too. Okay, and then the other one would be this. You can see right here. That's why that that that's why this high cannot reach because it does have the resistance. Okay, so um, yeah, I I do like this for uh, a pop. Uh, let's take a look at weekly. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't see much. Uh, let's go monthly, twenty years. I want to see what's going on here. Uh, we can go twenty years. I think they're the one that making uh, some kind of home and kitchen pop here. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, seventeen is the target right there. You can see this is a resistance, a major, major year. Resistant because we already broke that now it's become resistant. Um, yeah, you just have to pay attention. If it does break 17, then you need to make sure that it, it stay in the value. Then the next one will be goes to 24. 
I do like to play this on. Um, I, I'm gonna tell you what my play if you ask me. What my play should be. This is my target here. Um, I can enter here with the stop basically uh, 13. So 15, 13, that's two dollar stop. Uh, and then my target is 17. Okay, so that's a one to one ratio. Um, 17, and then pay attention if 17 break. If it does 17 break, then you add more. Um, remember, the key is break and fold. Okay, because one day break, it doesn't mean it will fold the next day because it can gap down and then start going down. Um, earning will be August, so we still have a lot of plenty of times to uh, go with this. And, and of course, uh, everything depending on the trade war, uh, depending on the news on the market, you know, because, you know, there's so much stuff going on. One tweet can change the direction of the market pretty quick. Um, yeah, this is, a, I, I really like this, NWL. I'm going to keep it on my eye as well on this one. Uh, I'm going to set up a little bit. Probably have to do more research. Uh, what does this company do? And if they're really making money, and why they've been going down so many, right? Because that was 55, now it's just like 16, 15. So, all right. Um, now let's go to the next one, which is Tesla. This is the trade that I really like. Been um, making a lot of adjustment and uh, profit on this one. Uh, let's go to daily. Uh, I did mention to the group we did uh, play Tesla here. Uh, we basically grind higher, make money twenty seven hundred, and then another four hundred uh, on this downturn because it does hit the resistance. Two thirty five is the resistance here. Um, I do not expect it will break anytime soon. I do expect Tesla will just play around in this area for at least another week. And then it's gonna go down okay but if it's gonna break then you need to know the next resistance which is 255 okay keep in mind i do sell weekly option on this to get the premium that's why i really like because i can tell where's the market either way it's going sideways or maybe um it's moving um, a little bit against my direction as long as it doesn't close Above to 35, I'm still making money. Um, so I do have a position here as well. Now, uh, just keep continue looking at this trend channel. Um, if it's going to be sideways or going down here on the next level, I don't think it will go down more, but it's possible. Uh, we never know. Maybe they missed it with that delivery again. Then, yeah, it, it, can, it can go down lower to, I don't know, who knows here, let's say. Monthly. Monthly. Happening with the weekend, a lot of data. Oh yeah, we are the support. If, it, if we do breach, oh my gosh, that's a hundred ten dollar, a hundred twenty, a hundred fifteen, a hundred fifteen right there. That will be the next support. Okay. Um, can be crazy if it does go down there. All right. So that's Tesla. Now uh, the next thing I want to talk is TTD. This is from Heather. Just to be sure, this is the uh, picture that she sent. Let me double check. Yeah, TTD uh, is been rocking up high. Uh, it looks very nice. And my cost is pleasing. Come on. All right, let's go use this one then. All right, TTD, let's see on the weekly. We do have a pullback here. Um, it is overbought state. Um, so R R 
SI is also making a high low. I think there's going to be a pullback on this guy. Um, 207 to 200, that would be the next support. Um, well, I'm sorry, 232 will be the first support. If it goes below that, 210 and 200, I'll look at the next one. Okay. Um, it does getting expensive. It's been going up, 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 up. So you need to pay attention. You don't want to keep chasing this because you might get stuck. Even though, look at the daily one. Ooh, next week. Start making a curve. I do expect a pullback, 215. Like I said, 232 and then 215. That's a 50 moving average. Okay. okay, if it goes beyond 50 moving average, 202 or 200 will be the next. All right, so um, that's TTV. Let's see what else. Amazon. Amazon, uh, over short term is overbought. RSI is still showing it's not reaching the 70 yet. Um, it's not making 52 weeks high. We're, um, I mean, it can pull back a little bit here and then after that, grinding higher again. Amazon, it does have a potential to go to 2000. Okay, keep in mind, it can go to up to 2000. This is one of the uh, bank stock. Um, let me see on the weekly. See that um, there's a trend line here. If you go in, okay. it's kind of stuck. All right, um, I do expect maybe uh, one, two, three, three weeks it's been going up. I do expect maybe pull back a little bit and then um, it will either break this thing out or it will keep continuing going lower. It just depends where the trade works. Keep in mind next week is the important week i'm sorry not next week the weekend next weekend that's what i'm trying to say next weekend june 29th june 30th that will be we will see a new tweet from mr trump all right um that's for amazon uh gld gld i i'm crying to be honest with you and I'm sharing this. When it break 127, I'm debating if I want to follow and um, keep buying the Autobot state. But it did get up another five points after the FOMC, which is amazing, super, super amazing. Um, I do think this will pull back a little bit. To 130 and then uh, maybe to 127 ish. Um, I will participate in this. I will keep, I will buy, I will start buying gold um, for 2020. So that will give me at least um, six months ahead. Um, I think gold will continue going higher from here. Um, yeah, it is super. Super, super, super overbought state. Um, I do expect pull back a little bit and then keep continue going higher, especially in July. The rate cut expectation is a hundred percent. So, um, is it's been um, expected that FMC will cut the rate in July. So that will be um, that will be my end of my recording. It's been a long day, I'm tired, but it's been a beautiful day. So, uh, oh, one thing. Yeah, I need to end it with this beer. Beer company. Ha. Huh. Molson Coors Brewing. I like this, this uh, chart. Um, it does hold this triple bottom, um, and now it's grinding higher. I do expect this will go up and then it probably will try to go to 57. So we do have a two point play or to go to 57 or 58 right here. So which is two to three points play. Um, I can either sell a credit put or I can just buy a call. 
So I'll take a look on that. Uh, let's see if we do have. Uh, let me go. Like, uh, tab. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we have enough juice. 53, nothing. 53 cents. There's no juice. Yeah, look at this. Like 53. Yeah, so there is not enough juice to sell a weekly haul. Yeah, 15 cents, but I have to put the $2,000. So $150 credit for $2,000. That's sad. That's not really a good money. Less than 30 cents. So um, the other thing I can think of is probably just buy Gen 20 and then buy the, in the money to so that will be oh it's great. The spread is not that great. That's the problem. Four dollar fifty on the ask, four dollar twenty on the bid. Um, I just because this is after hours, maybe sometimes the spread is higher. We just have to see uh, what's going on Monday. Um, I probably will try to buy this twenty five. Uh, you can also look at. Yeah, see, like this one, July 19, there's like 353 contracts, 363 contracts on 62 and a half. Um, nothing. All right, well, um, yeah, I have to do more research on this because I don't see anything good. Um, other than keeping up the EA and um, DNA ATVI, so this is, this is, this is probably a sale. Yeah, tap um, not really well. Uh, BY, uh, you know, I, I keep talking about this. I tried to short it, never able to get shorted because um, E Trade doesn't allow me to short. So the only play I can do is selling a call. Um, there is um, it's a small, it, it is a small um, profit in some of if you really have to put a lot of money in the call here. I was thinking to short 185, so that's only like a dollar thirty, which is if I sell one contract, that's 130 dollars, but I, my margin will be about um, 100. I'm sorry, 18 thousand. So it's not really a good trade for me. I don't want to. I don't want to put a lot of large, uh, capital into it doing that stuff. Um, yeah, but I do think this will probably will go back to 100. In the, I don't know, in a couple of days. We'll see. All right, guys. Um, other than that, it's Friday night. Have a great weekend. If you like, please click subscribe and share. Share uh, about the group. Join the group if you like. See you guys.